come on here today and talk about what I'm actually using to homeschool my one-year-old. Now, I want to start with a disclaimer that this curriculum is not specifically for one-year-olds. I have adapted it for my one-year-old, but feel free to use this for whatever age your child is that fits within these learning requirements. So what I'm actually using is a free online homeschool curriculum called Easy Peasy All-in-One Homeschool. And I will actually link the website for that down below in the description box if you're interested in checking it out. This website actually has free homeschool curriculum all the way from preschool to 12th grade. And what I'm using is my adapted form of the very first level on the website called Getting Ready. And the website's really easy to use. It's all listed by day and all of the links and instructions that you need for that day are all kept together. So you can just scroll through day by day. Now the problem I ran into is I wasn't doing a normal school year. Since my child is only one, we obviously didn't start at 12 months. We started around 14 months. And so we were in the middle of a school year. And since my son's not actually homeschooling, we're just doing this because it's fun and he's learning, we do it all throughout the week. We don't take the weekends off. Or sometimes we just take a random day off. So it was really hard to keep track scrolling through all the days online. So I made and printed out a checklist with all the information from the website so it was a little bit easier for me to keep track of so I could physically check off the days that we had done. And that way I could add in all those little special things that we were doing and leave off the things that we weren't doing that he wasn't ready for in the curriculum. Because I will be honest, there is stuff in the curriculum that is too advanced for him. So I've added in different things that we do on craft days. So I went ahead and took a screenshot of this checklist if you guys want to see it and I will figure out a way to get that on the screen whether it's in front of me or I can put it in a little box or something. We'll see how that works out but um, I did <laughs> I did have to go through a lot to figure out how to get the checklist on the screen for you guys so don't judge me on how unprofessional it looks. I know. And then I want to talk to you guys about some of the changes that I make when I use the curriculum. I personally don't care for a lot of the videos that are linked. They're great videos, but the quality tends to be really bad. So I'll try and find the links of the videos that I use, but generally speaking, I just try and find a different alphabet video on YouTube. And sometimes I don't even use YouTube, sometimes we'll go on Amazon or Netflix. And then another thing we don't do is we don't do any of the crafts. I tried it one day just to kind of see if my son would be interested in watching me do it and doing little things like doing the gluing, like putting the pieces of paper together when we glue them, and he absolutely was not. So we do a lot of coloring pages, and recently I bought some of the Do-A-Dot markers, and I print out some of the free Do-A-Dot coloring pages off of the internet, and I'll just have him do those with me. And the other thing that we don't do are the look at activities in the curriculum where you will click on a link and it'll take you to a Google search image of whatever that day's lesson is about. So if it's the letter A, it'll have a whole bunch of Google search image letter A's in different formats. And my son doesn't understand that. So instead, I use different manipulatives and I lay them out on his high chair tray and we talk about them and I hand them to him and I just let him play with them however he likes. So I figured I would show you some of my manipulatives that I use and that way you can kind of start seeing what sorts of learning toys that I have, how I use them, and also I will try and let you know where I got everything from and why I purchased them. So Little People Alphabet Learning Cards was actually one of the first learning toys I ever purchased, and I got it at the Dollar Tree. And it was mainly because I was kind of wanting to see if my son was interested in some of these learning toys, but I didn't want to put in the investment yet. So typically when we do a look at activity, instead of clicking on the link, like I said, I put him in his high chair and these are one of the things that I give him on his high chair. Now I give him all of these manipulatives at once. So I'm kind of mimicking what they're doing in the curriculum where they're showing the letter in different formats and different scripts so that they're recognizing that when you're showing them the letter, you're not just naming that specific item. They're kind of learning the concept of the letter and to recognize it in its different forms. So for example, if the letter of the day was W, I would hand him this W card and I would hand it to him facing this side because if you look, the other side has a wagon on it. 
So that's not what this is about. He can flip it over once it's on his tray, but initially I hand it to him facing this side so that he sees that. And I might even go over big W, little W, and then maybe make the sound. And in the future, I will try and do a video talking about the different ways that I use these cards. And another thing that I will hand him are these little magnet letters. And I don't know if I can show you these without just dumping them all over the floor. So I'll just hold them up. But I actually got these from the little Target discount section. And I think everyone calls it the dollar section, but it ranges from like a dollar to five dollars, I think. And these were three dollars. They came in the little box, but they're little magnets. And I've seen something similar to this online, I think on Wish, and I was always scared to order them because they never had good reviews. So I was happy when I found these because they're cute. Each letter has a different little decoration, like it has kind of its own little personality. Some of them are feminine and some of them are masculine and they have like little bow ties and they all have a little arm and they're all doing different things. Some of them seem like they're sleeping. Some of them are looking different ways. So they're just really cute and they're a magnet so I also use these to put his artwork on the refrigerator and then we can kind of go over them. I use the letters that we've already gone over to put his artwork on the refrigerator. So I don't know if you guys can see this back here but I'm going to try and leave each of the little toys that we go over back here so you kind of get an idea of what his tray looks like. And another one of the learning toys that I have are these alphabet alligators and they're actually little puzzles. I got these off of Amazon. I want to say they were around $11, but don't quote me on that. Plus, I've noticed Amazon's prices tend to change all the time, so I don't know what they currently are. But um, I was a little disappointed in this because when I looked online, it says 26 pieces, so I was assuming that the entire alphabet was included, and they're actually double-sided, but it's called 26 pieces because it's a puzzle. So you get a capital letter on one side and a lowercase on the other side. So this is another thing that I hand my son. I hand it to him put together and typically the first thing he wants to do is pull them apart because he's learned how to do that. Um, so and then again I will go over the capital letter and the lowercase letter with him and maybe say the sound again. It just depends on what his mood is. He is only one. So sometimes he doesn't have the attention span for all that. So if I notice he's playing with the other things on his tray, I might just be like big W, little W. And I try and rotate and say different things. Like sometimes I'll say big or sometimes I'll say capital. Sometimes I say uppercase. I want him to kind of associate them all with the letter and not just learn one phrase. And these next items actually all came together in this big box from Lakeshore Learning Center, which I would love to do a review on this resource, but I actually bought it because it was 50% off due to them discontinuing it. So I will not be doing a full review on it because the chances of you actually finding it are pretty slim. But let me tell you something, this was an amazing deal. This box was $40 and I got it for 20 bucks. So this box came with a complete set of alphabet puzzles where very similar to the alligator, one piece is a capital letter and the other piece is a lowercase letter. And each of the little puzzle pieces seem to be different. So they don't actually fit together, they only fit with their pair. But I've actually never given him the entire set. He's not ready for that. But when I go over the look at a letter, I go ahead and give him one of these. And again, the first thing he does is take it apart. And also like all the others, I go over the capital, the lowercase, and then the sound. And I know for sure Lakeshore Learning Center sells these little puzzle pieces with the full alphabet by themselves. So you don't actually have to buy the kit that I had to get these. You can buy these separately. So if you want to check out their website, I will try and link that also in the description box. And you can type in probably alphabet puzzle and I'm sure these will come up. And these I know they sell as well. And these are really cool. And I can't wait till he's old enough to use these the correct way. Um, I just give him these kind of like flashcards, just another thing to show him with the letter on it. But these are actually textured and they are actually for crayon rubbing. So if you put a piece of paper over this and you rub a crayon or a pencil over it, it will leave the actual letter. So let's see if I can give you an example real quick. So I'm sure most of you know what I'm talking about, but if you don't, see if I can give you a little on camera demonstration real quick. 
So you would just put this under your paper. And I don't actually have any rubbing crayons right now, so I'm gonna try and use the back end of this crayon so I don't destroy his crayon. So when it's scribbled over, and see, you can actually see the letter underneath there. And I will even take the card out. And there's your card. This is probably not the greatest example because it's black and it's a little bit harder to see, but I think you get the idea. And then I also got this alphabet mystery box. So basically all that's in here are your refrigerator ABC magnets without the magnet in it. So these came in my box, but you could absolutely just use refrigerator magnets. You don't even have to use these specific items. You can use whatever letter manipulatives you find or you already have lying around. And then lastly, I have all of these alphabet pouches, and these are color-coordinated lowercase letters. So you can't really tell what the W's, but then I would give him one of each color, and I always set these in his cup holder. And it took us a little while to realize these weren't candy. I had to really watch him with these tiny little pieces. But these are nice to just kind of have an example of lowercase letters, because most of the letters are uppercase, or they are uppercase and lowercase together where he's getting both of them at the same time and the lowercase maybe isn't getting as much attention as the uppercase. So this is a good way for him to see the lowercase. And then lastly, I have a bonus item for you guys today. I just bought these and I have not even opened them or used them yet, so it's not something we've tried yet, but since they are an alphabet product, I wanted to go ahead and show it to you guys and I will unbox these with you. So looky there, the W is right on top. So these are uppercase alphabet and number dough stampers and these were $29.99 at Lakeshore Learning Center. These did not come with my alphabet box. That would have been amazing, but it did not. Now the thing is, is I had a buy one get one half off coupon when I bought these, so I bought another learning toy that was $29.99, so I got one of them for $15. I thought I would go ahead and demonstrate this for you real quick on camera. And this is not something I plan on integrating into our look at a letter because I feel like the Play-Doh would just become a disaster. All of our letter manipulatives would be covered in Play-Doh. So this is just a different toy. I just wanted to show it to you guys. But so it has a nice long handle that the child can hold on to. And when they're pressing down, they can actually see what letter they're stamping. I think I actually pushed too hard because it's a little bit difficult to get out. And you can see, you see the little ring but um, flip it over and you see my line side, it doesn't take much pressure to imprint the letter. So these are really cool. I'm excited about when we get to use these. We might start using them after our look at a letter and just kind of take some time to play with the Play-Doh and do some stamps. I'll probably only give him one stamp at a time to do his imprints with. So I realized I didn't even get into why I specifically bought these products. I have a thought process behind that and a reasoning why I buy certain toys and how he can grow into them. So I'm gonna have to go over that in another video because this video is getting kind of long already. And I always wanna remind my viewers that I'm not sponsored or paid by anyone to do these videos. But if you wanna support my channel, you can subscribe, share my videos, and give this video a like. Thanks so much for watching.